Hi, I'm Steve Johnson, lead service technician at iClight. Today I'm here to talk to you about replacing a push button O-ring on an iClight housing. If your push buttons are getting sticky, difficult to press, or not returning properly, then it's time to service your housing. The easiest way to do this is to send it in to us for replacement of all control seals and water pressure testing. If this isn't an option for you, it is possible to replace push button O-rings on your own in the field. If you have any questions on this procedure, please comment below or reach out to us via iClight at iClight.com. Push buttons are different links for different features of the camera. It's important to make sure the right push button goes back in the right place. I recommend that you replace one push button at a time to avoid confusing. Removing push buttons, step one. Remove the rubber tip off the inside of the push button. Step two, push the push button in to see which groove the E-clip is attached to. Some push buttons have multiple grooves and replacement of the E-clip will affect the operation of the button. Write down the position of the E-clip in relation to the end of the push button so that you can install it correctly when you put it back in. Use a pair of pliers to remove the E-clip that holds the push button in place. Push in on the push button you want to remove. This will raise the E-clip holding the button in place. Using the pliers, tightly grab the E-clip on the opposite side of the open end and pull loose. You may need to apply some pressure. Step three, remove the push button, spring and O-ring from the housing. A lot of the time the O-ring will come out with the push button, but if not, you can use the push button to pull the O-ring out of the push button cavity. Or use the shaft of the push button to push from inside the housing to loosen the O-ring. Step four, remove the spring, O-ring and washers from the push button. Cleaning the push buttons. You can soak them in a cleaning solution like CLR and water to remove any salt buildup. Vinegar and water also work well together. After cleaning, you should rinse push buttons with water to remove any residue. When we service housing here, we use an ultrasonic cleaner with a solution of 25% CLR to 75% water to completely remove all buildup from the shafts. Never use alcohol, acetone, or any other chemicals or solvents to clean the push buttons. These solutions may degrade the O-rings or cause cracking if they come in contact with the back of the housing. Get your push buttons clean and completely dry before you go to put them back into the housing. Use a clean, lint-free cloth or soft brush to remove any debris from the push button holes in the housing. Now that your push buttons are clean and dry, it's time to install them back into your housing. Installing push buttons. Step one. Start by seating a new lubricated O-ring into the O-ring groove. The O-ring should be well lubricated before you try to seat it in the groove. You can combine your O-rings with the lubricant in a small dish or lubricate them one by one. Center the O-ring in the groove, then use the head of one of the push buttons to seat it in the O-ring groove. The O-ring has to be properly seated before you install a push button. The diameter of the groove is slightly smaller than the outer diameter of the O-ring, so it requires some pressure to compress the O-ring into the groove. Press until the O-ring is sitting flat inside the groove. The hole in the center of the O-ring should appear smaller and the top of the O-ring should look even all the way around. You should be able to see the top edge of the O-ring groove above the O-ring. On housings with acrylic back, you can look through the sides of the back to see the O-ring form a solid black line in the groove. It is important that you see this solid line. If you do not see a solid line, start over from step one of removing the push button. And if the O-ring is not seated properly, you will flood your housing. Step two, add the washers and spring to the push button. Note that there are several different lengths of springs in a push button replacement kit. Use the correct length of spring depending on where you're installing the push button. 
Metal push buttons will need a washer on both sides of the spring. Plastic push buttons only use a washer on the side of the spring that will be closest to the O-ring. Step three, secure the E-clip with pliers the same way you remove them. With your other hand, push the assembled push button through the O-ring and press it all the way in. The shaft of the push button should be in the center of the E-clip. Be sure to install the E-clip in the correct groove. This will affect the final reach of the push button. Step four, press the button in a couple of times to check operation, then reinstall the rubber tip onto the push button. Do these steps with each push button. Make sure the O-ring is seated properly each time. Testing the housing. Once you replace the push buttons, you should always check the housing for leaks before you put a camera inside. It is not enough to vacuum test the housing. A vacuum only checks for leaks at pressures up to one atmosphere. Some push button leaks will only become evident much deeper than that. We use a pressure tank to test our housings to 200 feet. If you don't have access to a pressure tank, then assemble your housing without a camera and take it diving as deep as possible. Adding a little weight to the inside will help counteract the buoyancy. Work all the push buttons and controls at depth to check for leaks. That's all that there is to it. Good luck and happy shooting.